So we find ourselves today wandering through another huge list of family names. And you're probably thinking, what's all this about? Well, remember yesterday we talked about how the writer of Chronicles is reminding the Jews who are returning to Judah that they're part of God's big story, which goes back to the very beginning. And that story has passed from generation to generation, from century to century, and it still goes on today. But why mention so many names? Because people matter to God. Everyone is invited by name to play their part in God's living story. Do you know that there are over 31,000 verses in the Bible and some of the names you've read today are mentioned just once, just in this passage, but they matter. They're playing their part in God's story. And so you matter. You are invited to play your part in God's story. Just think of this, that in the history of the universe, there'll never ever be another you. And what this world needs and what God needs is for you to rise up and take your place. For the sound of your voice to be heard, to make your mark in the world, to be who God created you to be and not be crippled by comparison, not comparing yourself or your life with others, but recognise that you have your life to live and no one can be you but you. God counts the very hairs on your head. Your name is engraved in the palm of his hand. He knows everything about you, good, bad and ugly. And because he is good and because he is love, he chooses you to play your part in his wonderful story, to put the wrong things right in the world. So next time you read those long lists of names in the Bible, remember these are real people who God knew and God loved just like you. And be thankful that God has chosen you to do your bit in his world-saving story.